Minnesota fans, I'm here to tell you that I have full faith in the Minnesota Vikings, not only making the playoffs, not only making the NFC Championship, but I could realistically see them making Super Bowl 57 and hoisting the Lombardi Trophy. The Vikings are for real, and they're for real because of one man. This guy right here, Kevin O'Connell, the head coach, has changed everything with the culture of the Vikings, and that is why I have full faith in Minnesota. He has emphasized three things in particular, the three C's, collaboration, communication, and consistency with the Vikings. What the heck does that mean? Well, I had the honor of asking Kevin O'Connell in an interview. This was prior to Super Bowl 56. He was the offensive coordinator for the Rams. And everybody knew that after he left the Rams, after the Super Bowl, he was going to be named the head coach of the Vikings. Well, prior to him being named the head coach, with that news already being out prior to the Super Bowl, I had the chance to ask him, what are some things that you want to instill in the culture for the Vikings when you do accept that job? Hey, Coach, I uh, appreciate you taking the time. Uh, I wanted to ask you, as you are closing one chapter of your career and opening the next, uh, hopefully on a high note, uh, ending this chapter, I wanted to ask you uh, what life lessons and, and cultural aspects that you learn uh, from your tenure here with the L.A. Rams that you would like to institute in your future endeavors? Yeah, it's a, that's a big thing, obviously. Um, I think I would start out and just, uh, you know, really talk about the collaboration that goes on and the communication that goes on in our, in our building, player to player, player to coach, coach to player, coach to coach, uh, you know, our staff with the front office, our staff with, I mentioned, the sports performance team, um, our equipment staff, uh, really our operations people. Everybody is in lockstep. Everybody is in sync because the communication is, is at an elite standard uh, on a daily basis, in season, off season, whatever it may be. And I think that all comes from our head coach and the rest of our leadership with Kevin and Les and Tony um, throughout our whole organization. And it's been set up that in a way uh, by that leadership group to really thrive um, and then obviously getting the right kind of people uh, to come in here and take that and really run with it. Um, I think the consistency of our process is another part of our culture, um, understanding that uh, having foundational points to your culture is, is a great thing. But if it's not a consistent thing that, uh, you know, we hold each other accountable as much as possible in the right kind of ways every single day, um, it really means nothing if it's not uh, a, a consistent thing. So I'd really say those three C's right there of collaborating that goes on, the communication that goes on, and then the consistency to make sure that those two things are always happening uh, to go along with having great people uh, in the walls of this building. So collaboration, collaborating with the front office and the coaching staff, working together, make sure you guys are on the same page. Communication, not just with the front office, not just with the players, but also the coaching staff specifically with Wes Phillips. Because when Ocado came into town, he had a certain office that he wanted to instill. Talk with Phillips, make sure you guys don't butt heads. You collaborate. You communicate, and what does that lead to, according to him? Consistency. You land those three C's, and oh my goodness, this season, with regards to Monday Night Football, that one blemish, besides that fact, they've been consistent in 2022. Kevin O'Connell has instilled exactly what he has talked about prior to him becoming a head coach, and that is the three C's. Collaboration, communication, and consistency. He is doing exactly what what he said he was going to do, and that is why I believe that this guy should be NFL head coach of the year. I get it. Pete Carroll has done so much after losing Russell Wilson, has turned him into a winning franchise. Robert Sala, Brian Dable doing so much with so little. Mike McDaniel, the way that he's uh, coaching Tua Tagovailoa in that offense. Even Nick Sirianni starting off 8-0 for the Eagles. I get it. But Kevin O'Connell... 8-1, has taken the same roster that's been around for the last two or three seasons pretty much, hasn't been able to get over that hump of making the postseason, and if they make it, not really doing anything at that point, not being able to close out games. He fixed everything and has instantly turned them into a Super Bowl contender. The offense that he's taken from the Rams that he instilled with Cooper Cup being the main guy and being the main focal point is that instilled that with Justin Jefferson, who a lot of people would say is athletically more talented. So if you just treated Jefferson as the next Cooper Cup, you can do amazing things. And the way that he tore up a very stout 
Bills defense shows that Kevin O'Connell's offense is the real deal. That he has made them instantly a team to be scared to face. It doesn't matter if you have one of the better defenses in the NFL. They can put up points. They can put up yards. Kevin O'Connell would be my pick of NFL Head Coach of the Year. Looking at the Vikings schedule remaining. The Dallas Cowboys, the Patriots, Jets, Lions, Colts, Giants, Packers, Bears. Pretty tough defenses, but like we mentioned, it doesn't really matter. The way they showed up against the Bills doesn't really matter. They could easily win four of these next eight games or so and could go 12-5. and five. I know that they're competing for that number one seed in the NFC, trying to get that first round by, but they're going to be making the postseason, and I believe wholeheartedly inside of me, Minnesota fans, you should be excited that the Vikings are going to make a deep run in the postseason. Can they compete with the Philadelphia Eagles? Can they have that rematch against the Eagles in like the 2017 NFC Championship game? Don't know, but I'm excited to find out. Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Minnesota Vikings.